Hi everybody, my name's Rodney Elmer. Welcome to Mountain Deer Taxidermy. Finally, you got one. Yeah. Oh, look at that! Oh, look at this thing! <laughs> you took the time to drag him out. <laughs> go, right, go right up and over that into the other one. You did it nice and careful. He's been admired by everyone. <laughs> Caping a deer is not real difficult. Come on inside, I'll show you how. What we got here is a buck. Uh, shot yesterday in New Hampshire. Yeah. Um, when we took him out of the woods, we dragged him nearly two and a half miles, so he came a long ways. Um, we brought a sled up in with us, and we were pretty careful with the cape. Um, this was the side down. Was this the side that was down? Was Other side. Oh, it was this side yep. here that was down. Um, if you drag a deer and you get any like gray patches where it's starting to come off or whatever, don't get any blood on that. Okay, I've, I've taped off where you need to make your cuts to cape a deer. Um, I always stop when I'm gutting them out at the breastbone. You got a good big buck. Stop right here. I just slice it up through. I pull everything out of there. Heart, lungs, liver, uh, all the guts. And then I leave all this covering the meat so that the hindquarters don't get exposed to dirt and everything else. Especially if you got to drag a long ways. Now what you normally do is just cut around the hocks and skin the deer down to here. Then take your knife, go around the entire thing and cut the back half right off. Then come to the front leg, cut it off at the knee, and then right on the back side of the leg, go right up this brown and white layer of hair. That, there's a natural line right there for you to follow. And come right up and then go right over to the ring cut. And now just bring everything right down through to the head. Same thing on the other leg, cut and go right up that brown and white hair. You don't have to keep this in a tube. You can if you want, some people do, but you don't have to. It's easier to not. And go right up through there and come right up to the side and don't make any cuts inside the brisket. Don't come driving down through here and work all the way up to the neck and then want to mount it. Or cut the whole front and then this year we had another one that went up the entire back too. Now we've got to sew all the front, all the back and it's just, it's too much. Okay, so that's what we skin the back half. I cut up the center, just nice and careful, just cut the hide. Then I'm gonna cut right along the back side and come over to the hole that we made in the hawk when we hung the deer up and we'll skin around and when we get done it'll be kind of like this for our starting cut we want to do that on each side. What we've done is we've scun down around through and we're coming to the hind end here. Um, just uh, work this membrane right along the bottom and then when we start coming to the back you don't need to break uh, the hip bone open and cut those. There's some of your best steaks on the inside of the legs right there. Don't expose that to dirt and let it all dry out. Leave it a cover on it. Once you get out of the woods, then open it up and we'll have things cool. Of course, the three things that make your meat raw are dirt and water and temperature. So we've got to keep it as cool as we can. Um, it's not a big deal to, what I do is I'll, I'll pull all the manure out of the, I'll reach up inside the pelvis on the inside and I'll pull all that manure back into the guts and cut the tube off and get that out. I'll leave the um, bladder intact. If, if I can, I'll just lay um, his parts over and squeeze the bladder and all the urine will come right out and he'll leave it on the ground. And now I've just got the bladder hanging on the inside um, empty and Inside that pelvis, there's nothing you need inside there. There's no reason to go inside there. But if you leave all the tubing and everything in there, and a deer has to hang for a while, it's gonna get nasty, you don't wanna do that. So what I do is I just leave it there, get it out of the woods. Once I get it home, now we'll skin it and pull it open. And I just go right inside the hole, right around the, the inside the pelvis. You, you can't really hurt anything by cutting right there. Okay, now we're down to that ring cut. We're right at the beginning of the breastbone and right where the hide comes right there. Just take it, we're, we're well behind the front shoulder, you know, almost a foot behind the front shoulder. So we can just spin the deer and take that whole back half right off. And we've still got more than enough cape for everything. This whole back half could have ticks or wingless flies, keep it away from the dogs. Uh, Normally, um, we put it in the trash uh, right away. I don't leave it laying around. If you wanted to tan it, um, that's always a possibility too. Just take it, put it right in the freezer. The quicker everything makes it to nice and cold and frozen, the better. Now you can take your front leg off right at the knee. I just take my knife and just cut right straight into the joint on each side. You can go right around, put a little tension on it. You'll feel the, the ligament on the inside. 
and you can just go like that and just break it right off and now you've got the leg off if you wanted to mount the hoof you could that's something to think about now we're going to take it and we'll go right up our brown and white hair and we'll follow the edge of the brown and white hair will stay out of in between the legs. We're gonna go right onto the side of the deer and up to the ring cut. Make your cuts come uh, with your blade up so that you don't cut hair off. You go underneath and you cut up. Now I don't open this up. I leave, I just cut it open and I leave it shut. <laughs> Stay out of the armpit. Go right up the side. You don't have to open up the cut. The tendency is to want to open up all your cuts. Don't, you don't have to open that up right away. The actual part that will be in the mount is right about here. On a really big mount, it might come back a little bit more, but most of the time we've got at least six or eight inches of extra high. When it comes time to skin this now, start at that top corner. And again, roll your hair down and away so that you're not getting any hair on the meat. Okay, now that we're down to the head and we've gotten as close to it as we can, um, you can just take your knife and cut all the tubes and all the meat right off. Um, it's handier when it has more horns in this because <laughs> then once you've cut all those tubes off and provided you haven't shot it through the backbone with a bullet or anything, you can just take that and twist his head and have somebody hold the front legs and the head will twist right off um, right where you cut it with a knife. Or if you need to, uh, you can take like a meat saw and uh, just cut the bone right off and off it'll come. Make sure that when you're cutting it off, you don't cut into the hide and then end up with like a moon shaped hole in your cape. Keep everything in a tube right up to the head. If you leave a lot of neck meat in it, um, we'll have to either tube it down farther and cut it off again, or which is easier for you to do now, or we end up having to cut uh, in between the antlers and down the neck just enough so we can get that piece of backbone up and out of there. And it's much better and you have less seam on your mouth if you get it down and cut it off as close to the head as you can. Okay, now what you end up with is the head and the neck and the cape all in one piece. You, you've got the, um, the entire thing in a tube. Uh, you've cleaned up and wiped off any of the blood. Uh, the bullet went in right here on the neck, so you wanna clean that up. Um, there's no cuts in the brisket. These flares right here are in the very bottom of the mount and the very bottom of the mount comes right about here. So um, if you do end up cutting down into it or something, those, these pieces could end up down on the hide down here, so just bring the whole hide to your taxidermist if you need to. But um, the important part is this little curly cue right here and right here, and that's the very bottom of the mount. Um, keep in mind that uh, there's bugs like the wingless flies and the ticks could be on it, so get it right in a plastic bag. Um, wipe off the mouth and uh, keep that as clean and as blood free as possible. Um, same thing with the eyes, keep them all nice and clean. Uh, any of the white hair, make sure that there's not too much blood on that. And when things are dry, they can't rot. No salt. And don't salt it, right? Yeah, just put it all right in the freezer just like that if you can. Hey everybody, check out our Facebook page and our website. Hope that helped. Uh, love YouTube and uh, we'll keep the films coming. You guys keep those likes coming. So long. Take care. Happy hunting. Hey, go run through that beaver dam, I'll film it. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't got time for jokes, Jimmy. No, we do. Oh, oh, we do.